Welcome to this quick look at generators and crafting on SnowRunner Season 3 on PlayStation with me, Mr. Sealy P. Right then, generators and crafting on Season 3. You may be absolutely fine with this, may know absolutely what to do with this. There are going to be people out there that don't know, because I didn't know. I skipped most of Yukon, I just couldn't get into it. So I've come back into this um, on Wisconsin. And with the generators and crafting, it was that kind of thing of, I'm not sure what I'm doing. When you first start out on Black Badger Lake, if we go up here to the garage, just the side here, we've got this cargo creation zone number one. And there are a few of these dotted around. And next to it, there was a generator just sitting off to one side. Now it does say when you first start off on this new season three about factories requiring generators and you take them there. Now some of the factories when you go around now, if it's asking for metal beams, whatever, you can do, you know, you can go to the various different locations, you can dismantle buildings, and you can get, get the wood, you can get the metal frame in, the wood frame in, that kind of thing. But if you go to the factories, now like I say, I don't know if this was the same on Yukon because I, I just kind of, I gave up on it, I, you know, um, but I went to a factory to get some metal beams and it said they didn't have any. And I thought, hang on a minute, but the factories always have what you need. Um, so these cargo creation zones are for that. If you've got to a point where there's, you've run out of stuff or you know, however you've gone about it, this generator, the first one, is here already. It's free. And I'll show you what we'll do. We'll put it in the, in the generator area and then you create cargo. That's kind of how it works. If you want to get any more after that, unless you can find another one dotted around the map, at the trailer store you can buy new generators. I think the new generator is 13700 It's quite pricey, but then when you consider you can then just create whatever you need. I say whenever you need it. Kind of. So, here's the generator I bought. I bought it down, and this little zone that it's in is where you need to park the trailer. Again, we'll have a look on the map. So we've got the cargo creation zone number three, and then generator area. So you bring your generator, you put it in the generator area, jobs are good and absolutely happy as Larry. So, a couple of things worth pointing out. If we then go forwards into the creation zone, I'll stop there, I can open the warehouse, storehouse, and L2 and R2, I could start creating things, but it says no energy in the zone. Wait a minute, I bought the I bought the generator. It's right there. The reason being, the generator has to be turned on. Um, it's a simple thing to forget, or you know, or you might not even know. You just think, well, I've put the generator exactly where it said. Why is it not let me do this? So, from here, in this menu, so up on the D-pad down to turn on generator and we should see panels open gets turned on exhaust fumes start coming out our generator is now working now the generator itself requires fuel and when you get the first one and when you buy one it's got 1500 liters of fuel on board hence the reason why I've got a fuel trailer next to me again that will become more apparent in just a second so now we go to the crafting zone as it were open storehouse we've now got it's up and running each of these things that we can craft i've got zero in stock if i scroll across i've got fuel cargo container large pipe medium pipe small pipe back to fuel the other one was metal beams and was it spare parts something like that um now this is that was one and this is three so there's got to be a two somewhere i haven't quite found that yet but that's not, not a problem but it does say down the bottom fuel required so each of these things you want to craft will take some fuel out of the generator so there's 1500 liters in it at the moment if i craft something it's going to use up fuel which is absolutely wonderful um let's say i'll go with large pipe the large pipe requires 200 liters of fuel so i'll craft it that's now in stock it's stored absolutely fantastic but I have used some fuel uh, what I will do as well just so I've got a couple of each sort of thing fuel let's go with a couple of those small pipes one of those medium pipes let's go with two of those why not uh, let's go with another small pipes 
So now my fuel in my generator is down to 200 litres. So if you want to continue to um, craft things, you need to then put more fuel in the generator to keep it running or to be able to do this. That's one thing you need to be aware of when I say keep it running, yeah. Um, what is the maximum you can store here in the warehouse? I haven't got to that point yet because you have to keep refueling the generator, but plenty. When I was doing, I was doing metal beams up at the first crafting point and I got up to 15 sets of metal beams and didn't have a problem. Now the generator, if I decide now like I've done my crafting, I can turn that generator off and that will sit there. No problem at all. I can just leave it running like that, chugging away to come back to. It, as far as I can tell, it doesn't use any fuel just sitting there running. It's only using fuel if you craft something. That said, it's not going to hurt as a matter of course just to turn off the generator before you leave. As long as you remember when you come back to craft something else, you turn the generator back on again. But you'll realise straight away. So what I've done is grabbed a fuel trailer and this one looks a little bit different to normal under the mods i'm also using the um, azov uh, by jbe uh, this is the azov 64131 jbe by j boosted and i have also got the oh please hook up there we go um so yeah what i've also got is the off-road trailers pack from the mod hub by fox cr f450 rider the standard, if you go to the um, trailer st uh, store, <coughs> excuse me, the regular fuel carrier trailer holds 2,000 litres of fuel. The regular fuel carrier semi trailer holds 3,700 litres of fuel. This is the off road version. So, this is the off road semi fuel trailer. This holds 7,500 litres. It costs 6,000 to buy, but the beauty is once you've bought it, 7,500 litres, when it's run out, take the trailer back, sell it back, buy another one, bring it back again. Or bring another one down and swap them over, however you want to go about it, it's a type of shoe. So what we'll do, and I've done this up at the other one, I've just parked one of these next to it. Hopefully this is going to be close enough. Attach the trailer. Yeah, it does drop down a bit could be because I'm, I've got this is raised isn't it it's, although it's got a low saddle it is a raised vehicle so so what I can do now hopefully if I go to refuel I want to refuel from the off-road semi fuel trailer 7500 litres and I want to fuel up the generator boom done so I've now refueled my generator again. I can go back to my crafting point, get crafting again, and then I'll just come back and grab whatever I need. If you come back at any point, so that's done, what I'm going to do now is turn off the generator. Because I've done my crafting for the time being. I'm going to detach my trailer. And I'm going to drive forward back into the crafting point. Now, because the generator's turned off, what will happen is that'll say no energy in the zone is all my stuff still in here? it is but what's weird is oh there we go so I can scroll through and as you can see all my cargo is still there so even though the, I can't craft anything at the moment because the generator's turned off all my cargo's there, it hasn't disappeared, it hasn't, you know, it hasn't vanished we're all good and that in essence is it, that's that's using the um, I mean, that's using the generators for crafting. I'm not sure if there's another use for the generators or not. As far as I know, it's just crafting. So that's crafting zone 3, and crafting zone 1 is up by the garage, which is all over here. That's crafting zone... Yeah, cargo creation zone 1. So where cargo creation zone 2 is... There we go, up at the quarry. So that will be how you'll be able to craft other things up at that one so my next job that I want to be doing I am actually doing bridges at the moment but what I am going to do is buy another generator whiz out there now it's going to cost money yes but the thing is as soon as you start picking up jobs and contracts and you build bridges and do a few things you'll make that money back in no time and it just gives you the ability to craft whatever you want kind of whenever you want um, I suppose the only problem then is having to refuel it if there's only one if there's only one um, trailer uh, store Unless you come across any fuel tanks or fuel tankers dotted around the map, 
it's quite a long way to go backwards and forwards to get fuel but you shouldn't have to use that much so there you go um, I hope you found this useful and informative in some way shape or form it's maybe not a comprehensive guide to and it doesn't you know I haven't gone to all of the three creation points but that's the generator that's where you put it that's how you create something that's how you refuel it if you have found this useful and helpful in some way shape or form give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching